Hello guys, I'm uh, Evans here and welcome to this video. In this video, we'll now start to look at task 4 for, for the MailMage in the February-March 2018 IGCSE ICT um, Paper 2.1. In the last couple of videos, we looked at document production, then we finished data manipulation, and now we start to look at MailMage. The memo will be sent to the new postgraduate teachers. Um, create uh, step 26 says create a mail match memo using 1803 memo rtf as the master document and 1803 mail match.csv as the data source so in the master document replace your personal details with um first of all let's let's do this um let's um have our master document ready and our source file ready so the master document is supposed to be memo where you see here just open it with word and now we are going to import our um, our source file so use an existing list and go to work files and pick up mail match okay so don't worry about this just select the default windows default it's talking about the encoding um, and just say select Windows default if you're using a Windows um, computer. If you're using Mac, I think there should be something else that should be able to um, to pop up. Um, I'm not sure. I don't work with Mac, um, but there should be something that should yeah. So Mac, you have Mac here, so you can select Mac. Okay. So uh, that is done. Then the next thing that we need to do is to in the master document replace your personal details. With your name, center number, and candidate number. So, personal details, the master document. So, your personal details, where are they? Here. Yeah. So, replace this with your name, center number, and candidate number. So, that's uh, Evans ZM556 and 0001. Okay. And then, um, Next, replace today's date with the date field to display today's date in the format DD, okay? And um, M, 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 Y, 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 okay? So let's go there. So the date is supposed to be here. So today's date, just select it like that. Then go to um, um, insert quick parts and then field and then hit D on your keyboard um, to go to date, okay? D and then select the date with DD. Um, MMM shows you that it's the full month name. Okay, the full month name. Um, so, full month name is this one, for example. This is 13 August 2018. Okay, notice it's D, then MMMYYY. So, there's one more D that is missing here. So, you can just simply add it right from there. Okay. So that it becomes the D. What this means is that if you have a date, something like, uh, uh, let's say today, if it was the fifth, instead of just writing five, it will write zero five, okay? Because there are two characters that will be required. Okay. So that is done, and you have a date as the tenth August. So that is done. That is done. So maintain the existing spacing and punctuation, and replace the chevrons with text. Uh, and, and text with the appropriate merge fields from the data source. Okay, so in other words, the spacing should not be changed. So this is why when you highlight, you need to make sure that you just reach at the end of the angle bracket like that. If you ex if you if you go um, beyond that, you are going to change the order, or rather the spacings and the layout. So go to mailings and insert merge field. This is first name. Okay then highlight this one and just end right there and insert family name then staff id okay so just about that um that's staff id then first name again so you go around your document looking up for places or areas where you can Okay, so family name where you can insert the chevrons. Okay, so that's department. Okay, job description. Job description. Then read through your office faculty.
faculty then you receive the best pay best pay okay so this will increase annually with the university agreed pay scale you have whatever whatever you have been allocated an internal telephone number of this one so make sure it just ends there telephone okay and yep that should be done good so proofread and spell check the memo um so when you proofread you're just going through make sure that there are no spelling errors and stuff so f7 on your keyboard or out uh, or function f7 um ignore all grammar so you're not here to to work around which one is the correct sentence and stuff like that um we're not doing english exam okay so ignore grammar but take uh, notice of spelling so here it shows you spelling but what is required here is tamara or tawara not tamara <laughs> i'm reading here tawara tawara is a noun and it's not an english uh, english name so ignore it and um this is grammar so ignore grammar and spelling and grammar is done so that is good okay so the next thing that you're supposed to do display the match field codes and dead field then take screenshots and place this in your evidence document so what you need to do is to display these um yeah so you can you can simply just um from here just highlight and then right click and toggle field codes and it will show the merge field codes as they are okay now when you should do that just either print this um in my case i can simply just copy it since it needs to be pasted in the evidence document just copy it and paste it in the evidence document okay let's see it's supposed to be new actually new and then just from there get it up to there and paste it in the evidence document okay so copy and paste it in the evidence document so this is step number uh evidence 8 so evidence eight where you so close this get this i need this one close uh, evidence seven evidence eight is here and paste it right there okay so that should be fine um so done with this one and there you go with your four marks next memos are required for only those where the years of service is one and so we need to use a criteria to find where the years of service is one so just come here and then i'm going to toggle back um just highlight them again and right click and toggle again toggle field codes so that you have the names back okay so now you go to edit recipient list and go to filter because you want to now extract only those that meet a certain criteria so the years of service equal to 1 and say okay and so that should be done and say okay and then you have your reports there so now the next thing that you supposed to do is it says um print and merge and print the letters on into these staff members so what you need to do now is to go um uh means to go to here you can check out uh first of all you can preview the results see that they are there um you can print out these you can merge and finish and print out these um individual merge letters okay um other than that um you, so you you can do your print out here guys i'm not going to do the print out um, i'm sure you have to do that Um the next thing that you can do is to provide evidence of the data source and the selection of recipient for the memo. So we provide screenshot evidence of your data source and selection of recipients for the memo. So what you need to do is to go to um here uh not here. Uh you go here and go to edit recipient and then drag this window this side. Okay, it's important. And then go to filter and then 
have this window as well. So you can have two windows. So this is evidence of your data source and um, that. So you can get um, screenshots if you want. You can get screenshot of um, um, this window. Actually, let's get this. Okay, this is enough. So this is evidence of your data source that you've selected your thing. And this is evidence of the query that period, the criteria that you used. And you can copy this and paste it right in your in your um, thing. Okay, so just say okay. And go ahead and paste it just below here, step 29. And that should be fine. Okay. Um, alternatively, what you can do is to even enlarge it a little bit so that it's um it's um um uh, yeah it's a bit visible. So just make the text wrap around it. So just enlarge it from this side as well. Yeah, that's that's visible. Alternatively, you can get these windows separately, get a screenshot of this and get a screenshot of this. So this shows you that you produced the data source and that is fine. Also, the printout can also be a data source. Okay. Um, in my opinion, this window is not necessary. The main field recipient window. What is important is the query option window. Okay, so... Oh. So merge, uh, mail merge can also be used for generating personalized letters. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages of using mail merge to generate personalized letters to offer university places to 6,000 students. And type your answers in your own words in the evidence document using no more than 100 words. So it's a very short um, uh, paragraph which is supposed to write. And, and you just need to look out that you need to show only four points. Okay. So um, here you need to provide evidence so you can start mail merge makes it easy to write um, letters to multiple multiple students okay it saves time of typing individual typing 6000 individual letters okay also um one letter the master file okay the master file can be edited only once once and the changes will be yeah edited once and the changes can be applied okay the changes can be applied or the letters okay so maybe you can talk about the disadvantages the disadvantage of mail merge is that if there is a mistake in the master file if there is a mistake in the master file all the letters will have a copy of that mistake okay um, I don't know how many I've written so far um, but you can think of other stuff as well. Um, advantages of and disadvantages of mail merge. There are many other. Um, uh, this can be applied. This is passive. Okay, that's fine. We're not here to correct the grammar. Okay. So if there's a mistake in there, then there. And also, um, if there is an error in the master file then um, uh, um, in the printed letters for example let's say in the printed letters then all the letters will have to be reprinted which can be time consuming as well as um, costly. Okay, I think, guys, this is this is this is good. Um, okay, so that marks the end of mail match. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you shortly when we do the last part of this question paper, which is presentation.